Holy crab. I still can't really believe I am doing this, but I've just quit my job, moved to London for a circus degree. So for the past two years, I was working in Glasgow as a software engineer in a big corporate bank. A very well paid, comfortable corporate job in an industry that's growing, one might say. And I am now moving to London to start a degree in what? I am starting a degree in circus. That's, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I applied for this degree. It's a bit of a joke slash self-experiment. Didn't actually think I would go for it, but then for many reasons I did. More on that later. So you might be asking, why am I doing this? The quitting the job part mainly came down to me realizing that an office job is something I can always come back to in the future. And don't get me wrong, I have nothing against the world of tech, coding or my job. I actually enjoyed it. I learned a lot in the last two years. I got to work on different things. And I just think there's more out there than looking at a computer screen in an air conditioned office for the next 40 plus years. In fact, when I first went into a career in tech, I thought of all the programmer stereotypes and how they spend all day every day staring into a computer screen. But in all honesty, that's more office jobs right now. My first degree was in languages, German and Spanish, and the vast majority of jobs I could get with this degree involved staring into a computer screen all day every day, including translation, which at one point was my dream job. At least in tech, you're using dark mode. Anyway, I just think there is so much outside of my little bubble. I want to travel more again, I want to meet new people, I want to learn more things, and I do think that a career in the arts and performing can get me most, if not all of those things. That said though, ever since I decided to quit my job, I've been waiting for that moment when I start regretting all of this. And that moment has not come so far. Every time I walked around the office and saw people stuck in Zoom calls while the sun was shining outside, which is rare in Glasgow. Every time I had to type in my super secure 16 character password approximately 16 times a day, I did think to myself, I can always do that later. Okay, so I've decided to commit the next two to three years to studying circus. What exactly is the plan after that? The answer is, I don't know. The past couple of weeks and months, my brain's only been planning up until my moving date. And in a way, I like not having a plan set in stone. I also see this as an experiment in taking opportunities because I think I used to be quite bad at that. It was similar with my first degree, where I didn't know what I would go into afterwards. And I got involved in so many different hobbies and tried out so many different jobs. I like keeping my options open and seeing what I can do in the next couple of years at circus school and outside of it. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. <clears throat> now you might be asking, Bara, why are you putting your pretty little face on the internet? Well, first of all, my life is a meme, and the world deserves to see it. No, but seriously. There's a couple of reasons, actually. I thought it would be nice to document this crazy journey I'm on for myself, as well as keep my friends and family posted on my silly escapades. I watch a lot of YouTube, and I'd like to do less consuming and more creating, especially while I was trying to decide whether to quit my job for a circus degree. I went deep down the YouTube rabbit hole of career switcher videos. This is kind of the first thing that's just me. It's not like there's anyone out there telling me to quit my job and run away with the circus. If me sharing my thought process and experience helps at least one person out there, that makes it worth it. Last but not least, I see this as an opportunity to learn new skills. If I'm aiming to become a performing artist, I might as well get comfortable in front of the camera. I also want to learn video editing. I think it sounds really interesting and it's a useful skill nowadays that might come in handy one day. So stay tuned for videos about life as a circus student, multipotentiality, maybe a little bit of tech, 
and languages and just generally my inner musings. So that's been my little life update. Now let's see where this goes and I hope I care what people think as little as I did when crossing roads on red in Glasgow. Bye!